What's up you guys and welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video we're going to be working on the Jeep and I'm going to show you guys just exactly how I installed this right here. So basically what this is is just a camp table so when you guys are camping it's cool you can put your drinks on here. It has of course two cup holders on each side or you can go ahead and put your grill if you guys have one. So this is a cool little easy mod and it's actually crazy affordable. So if you guys do end up wanting to purchase this it's going to be from Rough Country going to be in the description box below so if you guys want it it's going to be there let's go ahead and now get into the install i'll show you exactly how it's done let's do it So as always, I'm going to go ahead and show you just what comes inside the box and what tools you're actually going to need. So the first things first, you want to go ahead and get yourself a drill. You want to go ahead and get yourself a hole maker just like this. I forgot what these are called, but it's to make holes. It's going to be a half inch. And then you're also going to want to go ahead and get yourself a panel removal tool. That's going to help you out in the process. And you're also going to want to go ahead and get a wrench, a 10 millimeter. That's going to help you out. You guys will see why. And then you're also going to want to go ahead and get an Allen wrench, a size four. So that's going to be for the tools. As far as what comes in the package, of course, you're going to go ahead and get your actual tabletop. These things look great, and the quality is also nice. If you fill it in person, you'll see what I'm talking about. So it's going to come, of course, with that. And then you're also going to get four of these bad boy screws right here. You're going to get two of these uh, washers. You're going to get two of these uh, little things. You guys will see what they do. And then you're going to get four of these bigger spacers, two of these small ones, and two of these bigger ones. These two bigger ones are gonna be for a different application, so these you will not need if you guys are doing it on a JL just like me. So let's go ahead and now get started. For this step, you wanna go ahead and get your panel removal tool. The reason why, we're gonna be removing this panel here so we can go ahead and get started and install the table. So first things first, I'm gonna try it out with my plastic one. I've already started it. I started right here from the bottom and you just kinda of work your way around it and then the panel will release. You'll hear it snap, so don't be scared. Once you get it started, you can then do it just by hand, just like that, and just kind of work your way around it, tug on it, and that's it. One thing you do have to be wary about is these little clips, which are clipped inside. Sometimes they get stuck, as you could tell. This one is missing, so we got to pull it out. So it's right here, still stuck in its place. So just go ahead and grab it. Once you grab it, just go ahead and put it back in the panel so that way when you go to reinstall, it's nice and easy and it goes in its place. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drilling out this section here with our half inch. You're gonna drill that out. You're gonna drill this out. And then also there's gonna be little nipples, which there's a nipple there. You're gonna drill that one out at the bottom and you're gonna drill this little nipple out at the bottom as well. The reason why is because when we go to attach this, uh, there's gonna be points in here that we're gonna be screwing the screw into. We'll get to that when we get to that step, but I just wanted to show you guys while it's off. Let's go ahead and now get started. For this next step, you wanna go ahead and get your half inch to make the hole and your drill. Let's start that now. Once you have it in place, uh, like I was saying earlier, you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut out the nipples at the bottom, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut out the inside in here. So let's go ahead and start this now. Just like that, one down, let's keep going. Two down, let's go ahead and move on to the bottom. Right where the nipple is, you wanna make sure you're in the center. Same thing on this side, make sure you're centered in the nipple. And just like that, you got your four holes. Now that you've uh, drilled out your four holes, up next, we're going to go ahead and now reinsert the panel. And once again, like I had told you guys, if you guys left any of these clips inside of there, make sure to take them off and put them back right now. So let's go ahead and do it. It snaps right in. It's super simple. So I'll show you guys right now why we cut it out. So you literally just go around it. Make sure you hear it snap. Once it's all snapped in like that, the next thing you want to go ahead and note, we're going to have to get close for this. So we cut out the holes because in the inside, you're going to notice there is uh, cutouts where the screws are going to go. So up next, we're going to put our four spacers on all four, of course, and then we'll go ahead and start from there. So let's do that now. So right here, we got our four spacers. So let's go ahead and insert them. That one's good. Make sure, of course, the threads line up. That one's good. And then for the bottom ones, 
be really careful that those don't fall in so i'm not going to put them in all the way it's just going to be about there and same thing about right there for now you don't want them to fall in of course once you've installed the spacers like i told you guys up next you want to go ahead and get your actual panel you want to open it up it's super easy when it comes inside the package it's probably going to be like this clipped in on both sides of course just like that but what you want to go ahead and do is pull this up release the latch same thing here pull up release the latch and you're going to go ahead and open it up just like that so that way it exposes your table the next step right here if you have someone to help you out it will help if not it's okay it's doable you want to go ahead and line up this hole and this hole with your spacers and what you're going to be doing here you want to go ahead and get one of your screws one of the rubber snubbers i think it's what it's called and you want to do this you then want to line up the screw pop it in there and you're going to put it inside the spacer and then you can go ahead and get it started i wouldn't tighten it all the way you want to do the same thing for the opposite side get your rubber snubber your screw put it inside the spacer and just get it started like i said you do not want to tighten it down just yet you just want it kind of snug so it doesn't fall in place if you feel insecure you want to go ahead and just get your four millimeter uh, allen wrench tighten it down just a bit more but like i said don't tighten it down all the way just yet. For this next step, we're almost done, so be excited, just like me. You wanna go ahead and just close this right here. Do not put the latches, just literally pull it up. And right here, you wanna go ahead and get your 10 millimeter open wrench, just like this. And then you wanna go ahead and get your four millimeter Allen wrench. What we're gonna be doing is removing this here. In the middle, you're gonna notice there's gonna be like a little rubber spacer. You wanna make sure not to lose that because we are gonna need it once again. So let's go ahead and remove it. And there's gonna be one on this side. All right, so there's, of course, your nut, and then you want to pull out your screw. Here's your screw, and then you want to go ahead and get your spacer and make sure not to lose it. This is the spacer I was talking about. It's a little white one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. We are going to need to reuse it. You want to go ahead and do the opposite side. Same thing. Now that you have it removed just like that, you want to go ahead and put it somewhere secure or have someone hold it if they're helping you out. For this next step, like I had told you guys, if you guys have someone to hold this, that's great. If not, you can place it there carefully. So we're going to be going down here now. So for this next step, you want to go ahead and get your uh, next two screws. And it's also going to come, of course, with the little silver washers. That's what you're going to need to use. So go ahead and grab your silver washer, grab your screw, put it right through. And like I told you guys, the top screws, you wanted them loose. So that way you can maneuver this around so you can fit it inside the washer, inside the spacer. So just like that. And go ahead and hand tighten for now. Get it started. And then you're going to want to go ahead and get another screw and another of the silver washers. And let's go ahead and get this side started. Same thing, kind of push it up. Just put it where you need it and hand tighten for now. Just like that. Once you have a hand tied in, you can go ahead and adjust it to where you need it. And then you can go ahead and now get your four millimeter Allen wrench and tighten all four down securely. Once you've tightened down all the little screws with your Allen wrench, up next, we're gonna go ahead and now put this back together and we're basically gonna be done. Uh, we still have one step, so let's go ahead and start that now. So for this right here, of course, you wanna go ahead and now once again, grab your little screw, your white little washer that I told you to save and then your nut that has Loctite on it. So let's go ahead and grab the table, bring it back down in its position. And this might help if you just attach it for now. If you're doing this by yourself, of course, if you have someone else, it'll help you out. But if you're doing it alone, you could do this a little trick. So let's go ahead and start. Let's put the washer in first, of course, because it's gonna go in the middle. And then you want to get your screw. Put your screw right through. Once it's through, go ahead and get your nut. 
Those of you guys, I would not tighten it down just yet. Reason why, we still need to do the opposite side. So just leave it loose for now. And do the same thing to this side. Go ahead and get your little washer. This side might be a little bit more difficult since you do have the other side put in already. So this might take a little bit of time. Just finesse it, play with it, if you know what I mean. Now once you've scored, go ahead and get your little long screw and put it right through that big hole. Once it's in, go ahead and seal the deal with the nut. Same thing, Allen wrench, 10 millimeter. So now that you've done that, now we're, let's go ahead and move on to the last step. Let's open it up one more time. This last step, you wanna go ahead and grab the little rubbers. Those are gonna go right in here. They might be a little bit hard, so go ahead and give them a firm push. Just like that. And that just kind of cleans up the look. Let's put the last one on this side. Same thing. It might be a little bit hard. Give it a firm push. And you're done. All right, you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, of course, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this and right here in the camping wildlife. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>